So, in a previous lecture, we have considered the chain rule when we had a function of two variables like this. In that lecture, I call this y. I will call that z here because I'm going to use y for something else. The example we considered was z equal to u times e to the v. I made a composition from the fact that u was some function of x and v was some function of x. I will now extend this to a slightly more general situation. So we're going to keep this. z is some function of u and v. That is my outer function. We'll even keep the example. z is u times e to the v. However, in this case, we will allow u to be a function of not just one variable, but two variables. u is a function of x and y. The same goes for v, which is now allowed to be a function of two variables. In my previous case, I used as an example u being equal to x squared and v being equal to 4x plus 1. In my new scenario, u can depend on both x and y, so let's use as an example u is equal to y times x squared, while v is equal to x plus 2y. When I made a composition in my previous case, I got z equal to f of, and u was a function of x, and v was a function of x. And the entire composite function came out as a function of only x. In my example, we got z equal to u times, or x squared times, e to the v, or e to the 4x plus 1. In the new scenario, z is a function of u, but now u is a function of both x and y. z is also a function of v, and v is a function also of x and y. So in this case, z will depend on both x and y. So the composite function needs to be written as a function of both x and y. The example in this case is z equal to u times, and u is y times x squared, e to the v, and v is x plus 2y. This is now my composite function, which is a function of two variables. So moving on to the chain rule for the first scenario, we have the derivative of z with respect to x, or the derivative of this composite function is equal to the derivative of f with respect to u, g of x, h of x, times the inner derivative, g prime x, plus the partial derivative of f with respect to v, g of x, h of x, times the inner derivative of h, h prime x. That was the chain rule for a function of two variables where each variable depended on one variable. Moving on to the second scenario, where we have a function of two variables where each variable depends on two variables, then the chain rule will look like this. First of all, the composite function is now a function of two variables, which means that we will get two partial derivatives, partial z, partial x. We will also get partial z, partial y, but let's wait with that. So this is f prime with respect to x of x comma y. According to the chain rule, this is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to u, g of x comma y, h of x comma y, multiplied by the partial derivative of g with respect to x, since we're differentiating z with respect to x, x comma y, plus x also has an effect on z through the v variable, so we need to do f prime v of g of x, y, h of x, y, and multiply that by the inner derivative, which is now h prime x of x comma y. But now we also have a second partial derivative, dz dy, or f prime with respect to y of x comma y. And you can probably figure out what this is simply by symmetry. y has an effect on z through the u variable, f prime u, g of x, y, h of x, y, multiplied by 
In this case, we need to do the partial derivative with respect to y. Plus f prime v g of x y h of x y times the partial derivative with respect to y. So this is the chain rule that we are looking for. Let's try it out with our example. Z was f of u comma v, which was u times e to the v. U was g of x comma y, which was y x square. And v was h of x comma y, which was x plus 2y. The composite function z of x comma y was y x square e to the x plus 2y. Before applying the chain rule, let's do all the partial derivatives. f prime u, uv is e to the v. f prime v, uv is u e to the v. g prime x, x comma y is 2yx. g prime y, x comma y is x squared. h prime x, x comma y is 1 and h prime y, x comma y is 2. So from the chain rule, the derivative of z with respect to x, or f prime x, x comma y, is equal to f prime u, e to the v, and v is x plus 2y, times g prime x, 2yx, plus f prime v, u, e to the v, or y, x squared, e to the x plus 2y times h prime x, which is just 1. Partial z partial y, or f prime y, x comma y, is f prime u, e to the v, or e to the x plus 2y times g prime y, that's x squared, plus y x squared e to the x plus 2y multiplied by h prime y, which is 2. Again, you can double check these two partial derivatives by directly differentiating the composite function with respect to x and with respect to y. If you do that, you will see that the partial derivatives will come out to be exactly the same as the ones that we found from the chain rule.